Now, in less than a month, one of the biggest events on the tourism conference calendar will be taking place. That's right, I'm talking about Meetings Africa 2014, which promises to be bigger and better this year. In a few weeks, Johannesburg will play host to the ninth annual Meetings Africa at the Santon Convention Center. The event has become the continent's premier business trade platform and exhibition. Last year, it attracted a record number of buyers, almost half of whom were international. Twenty thirteen saw the first conference run by the South African Conventions Bureau, and it was a resounding success. There were 2,284 delegates in attendance, and that number is set to rise drastically this year. Meetings Africa has grown from strength to strength. Last year saw a 30% increase in buyers attending the event from the previous year. The top countries with the most buyers were India, USA, Canada and China, showing South Africa's popularity amongst the BRICS nations and the world economic leaders. The event was opened by South African Tourism Minister Martinez von Skalkweg, highlighting just how important Meetings Africa is on the tourism calendar. In 2014, the exhibition's targets are higher and the need to be cutting edge in terms of technology are high on the agenda. Earlier this week, I sat down with Amanda Kotzen-Klapo, the Executive Manager at the Southern African National Convention Bureau, to get the inside scoop on this year's Meetings Africa. <music> Mandy, thank you so much uh, for making the time to join us. Perhaps let's start off with you by giving us a little bit of a summary of the key role of South African Tourism's Convention Bureau. What does this bureau do uh, in essence? You know, in short, we sell South Africa as a meetings destination. Right. You know, so we're responsible to uh, make sure that the world believe in us. Um, you know, we have a campaign rise with us and it's really to say, this is the place that you must have your meeting. Um, this is the place that can deliver on your meeting, that can ensure that you have a successful meeting, you know, so it's association meetings, it's big conferences, conventions, incentive groups, you know, um, where people have a nice time. I think South Africa is such a nice place to come to. So any business event. So we're responsible to market and sell South Africa as a business or position South Africa as a business events destination. And how much of this work is actually dependent on you having a really good relationship with provincial and national marketing bodies? You know, um, we are only two years old, um, you know, as a national convention Bureau. Um, previously been to, you know, I was uh, from Cape Town Convention Bureau. Um, I think the important thing for a country like South Africa is that um, it is um, a matter of that, you know, there's not always so much money for us to actually market and sell. Mm -hmm. And so if we pull together and not actually opposing each other. So we have a national strategy and part of the national strategy is that we um, that we will do bits together. Mm -hmm. um, so for the for the confidence of your uh, event planner or your convention planner, um, it has to give them confidence that there's national oversight. So right. we have a very good relationship. We actually um, have a forum what we call the coordinating forum um, and that forum um, is all the different destinations with their convention bureau so they are not reporting into us but we definitely have one strategy so there's for the some country. sort of strategic uh, collaboration that there's does a happen. national strategy you know there's a national strategy we all work towards the same targets the same uh, markets that we want to convince the same people and you know of course there will always be competition but what we will not do is we won't compete internationally so right. locally we sort ourselves out and then we go as a collective 
into the world and we win it for South Africa. Now, I mean, when one thinks of the tourism economy in South Africa, it's not very often that they're going to think of conventions and conferences. Absolutely. Now, you know, how big is the contribution of this aspect of tourism to the broader tourism economy? You know, I think what is important is that we have to, there's one thing that I always say to people. If you think, if you are going to a conference, mm -hmm. I think you just returned from some uh, conference now. If you go to a conference, it's not your own money that you are spending. It's your company or your association or your university or whoever it is. Um, and so they do spend more money. A business delegate um, to a conference spend more money um, than a normal uh, tourist, uh, um, you know, that come into our country. Um, more or less 2,800 rand to 3,000 a day. Yeah. Um, you know, and so the, in the next um, three years, um, we will contribute 3 billion to the econo as economic impact to the country. Yeah. Um, you know, up to 2017 with 106 um, international association meetings and something like 300,000 delegates that will come so to So 3 billion, if we compare it to uh, previous performance, is a positive outlook? Absolutely a positive outlook. You know, we, um, and I, I always say that if you think that we sustain our number, you know, the competition is so fierce. If you can think of how, um, how many destinations actually compete, you know, yeah. to bring meetings and, uh, and everyone kind of sell the same thing. Um, what we have is a disadvantage, and that is why the Rise With Us campaign is so important, is that people think Africa, can they host it? Right. And you know the surprise when they come here, it's wonderful. Absolutely. I mean, if, if, if we take a step back, and I mean, if we take into consideration that 2012, 2013 was a bit of a difficult year for tourism in South Africa broadly, and, and, and here you are also making very positive projections about where you're going as an industry, what are you going to be doing differently to make sure that you not only hit those targets, but possibly knock them out of the ballpark as well? You know, already we are. Um, and and the, the big thing about it is that you have to be consistent, you know, and we, we and I think Meetings Africa, if I can bring that mm. in here, is extremely important for us because Meetings Africa is a Pan-Africa show. Um, it is where the business events world um, come together in, f you know, for, for Africa or the continent um, come together mm. to actually sell to the world, you yeah. know. So when we talk about bringing international hosted buyers and, you know, corporate buyers and whoever to come and see what this continent actually can offer. And for me, I think one of the things that we really can improve, and that is really for us all a passion, mm. is working together in Africa. Now, you will say to me, you know, well, it's now South Africa money and we talk about Africa, but, you know, our, our business work about rotation. Mm. And if we can actually con get us as Africa countries, you know, as the continent to work together, like in Europe. Yeah. In Europe, people are... You know, they're working together, they, they, they go from, I always say you can go with a bicycle from one country to another Absolutely. country. And what we need to do is to look at growing African association meetings, growing the African associations, mm. because, you know, professional associations has all to do with knowledge economy, bringing the thought leaders of a profession, you know, yeah. together. So the legacy is so much more than just the numbers and the economic impact. It has a much broader objective, um, you know, when you talk association meetings. Right. So so for me, that is the important thing, is working together as Africa. And of course, uh, this meeting is in its ninth year uh, now mm. in 2014. You know, as an exhibitor or potential buyer, or a, a delegate mm. coming down to this particular uh, a show, what can one expect in 2014? You know, a hot show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now you can expect really to do excellent business. I yeah. think we are very excited. One of the most exciting things is that 97% of all the space are sold out already from an exhibitor perspective. And we're still in January? And we're still in January. It's end of February. It's happening from the 24th to the 26th of February um, 2014 in the Santon Convention Center here in Johannesburg. Um, and you know, what is for us really warm hearting is that there is so many African countries that mm. are coming to exhibit. So it actually show that as a continent, we are willing, we are capable, and we can guarantee successful meetings. The other thing that is so um, exciting is that for international hosted buyers and even for African um, association buyers, there's quite a uh, few, pay, um, you know, it's quite a dilemma mm. that we are sitting in this day because just as few places left. Yes. So people really need to hurry and come and also visitors, you know, come as visitors and come and see and, and do business because our shows is about 
sign on the dotted line. I have a meeting because it's qualified buyers yes. and it's quite strict. They must prove that they have business for our continent in the next um, year or two. Um, and if it is an association, they must prove that we are the next um, uh, rotation. Oh, um, right. th so the continent must be the mm -hmm. rotation. You know, but I always say if it come to Africa, it must come to South Africa. <laughs> but of course, with the you other, always have your you know, bias. <laughs> with the Af African countries, we are, you know, we yeah. are there, we can compete and we can we can actually show that um, Africa is on the map. Um, and then, of course, um, a big, big thing for us in 2014, you know, when we spoke to our exhibitors last mm. year, you know, at the end of last year's show, one of the things they were saying that they want corporate buyers because corporates are putting a lot of business in right. product and, you know, and, and it's and economies use. of scale as well. Absolutely. And, you know, what we did is we signed a deal with uh, USB, with Unique Speakers Bureau, and they're bringing 800 corporates to Meetings Africa for the first time. Fantastic stuff. Thank you so much for joining us. I mean, if your passion is one thing to go by, it looks like it's definitely going to be a hot show. Um, a hot show. <laughs> as a you very put successful it. business show. A very, so yeah. it will be proper. So it's going to be a very successful business show. Yes. Amanda, thank you so much for making the time to join us. Thank you so much for the opportunity.